Harvick pitting further down pit road. The too tight, also an air pressure adjustment for Kevin Harvick. Probably the final stops of the day for these RCR cars. Oh, Joe Nemechek into the tire barrier. What a fabulous strategy for these guys. Yeah. They make a pit stop, and now they get to make up the entire distance they spent on pit road. Yep. That's oh, what we man. talked about, about, you know, there's all these different strategies, but you've got to be lucky. And these guys that just came down pit lane are lucky. Kurt Busch is on pit lane. Did he get on pit road pit lane quickly enough? I don't know. That's going to be real close. Heading all the way down toward pit exit. Allen? Well, that'll be the whole debate, won't it? If he didn't get on pit road before it was closed, then it's going to be a problem. But if he did, it's a great call. Roy McCauley saw that car spin on the big uh, Jumbotron monitor right across from his pit box and immediately jumped on the radio, called for Kurt to come to pit road. It's a four-tire change for this two-car. Now we'll just see if they are clear of the uh, rules or if they ran afoul. No, it looks like, looks like they ran afoul. Uh. That hurts. Good, this happened to Jeff Gordon oh, here. Hit it again, Chris. Hit it again. We got time. In this race a year ago, hit it again is with the fuel can. It wasn't the NASCAR official that was holding him. They were holding themselves to get debris off the grill or something, wasn't it? Alan? Benny, Benny, what they were looking at, the, uh, the light that signals uh, the, the stop and go paddle at the end of pit road was red because the field hadn't cleared yet and the caution was out. When, when cars pit under the caution flag, they're held at the end of pit road until the last of the field clears and then they rejoin at the tail end. So that red light was on at the end of pit road to allow the, the tail of the field to clear and make sure that Kurt and the other cars on pit road rejoined at the tail. Now you see Roy McCauley in the discussion with the NASCAR officials trying to get clarification on where they stand as far as coming on to pit road. Gotcha. Yeah, what does the tie go to? Yeah, the runner. <laughs> this is identical to what happened to Gordon a year ago. Kyle Busch is the lucky dog. Let's work that in. Looking on the right side. And the light. The official is there. Oh, oh the red light is on. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That Whoa, is, how close you're, is you're that? You're committed there. I mean, you back it up. You're cool, Bob. I Watch mean, the front of the car right there. Okay, that's, I don't think he's at the line yet. You see the light right there. Oh, man. That is so... Pretty too soon is the official call, I'm told. Oh, man, oh, man. Just a few feet. Might have, may I, not have been that much. I wouldn't even say a few feet. Yeah, no. Now, Joe Nemechek in the tire barrier brought out the caution. Let's go back and sort that out. Well, we've seen a lot of contact back here today, and that's exactly what happened. Joe Nemechek got run into. Could not tell who that was behind him. But that inner loop is barely <laughs> big enough for one car, you know, and we've seen a lot of guys going there side by side. Now, this time, somebody just got into the back of Joe's bumper. Let the field go by. He had to restart at the tail end of the longest line for pitting too soon. They're going to give it to us. Go. That's his crew chief, Roy McCauley, saying you're okay. Alan, what do you got? Uh, a little bit of confusion here as to what it is they're telling him. I think Roy's confused. What NASCAR is telling him is that he's not going to be black flagged because he was dropping to the end of the field and giving up that spot. Roy was trying to talk to Kurt from pit road right in front of the NASCAR officials, and there was nothing coming over the two teams' radio. So they were having trouble, and that's what got them right up against that restart without Kurt getting the message to go to the back of the field. And that's because they lobbied very hard against the penalty, Alan. Oh, absolutely, they lobbied hard against it. They, they were right up against that line, and at that point, you know, how much choice did he have but to come down pit road? Could he really turn back out onto the racetrack right then? No, without a doubt he could not. I want to show you one other angle of Kurt Busch coming We're to right. pit road. They're wrong, but I can't, I can't do anything about it. Here he comes, off of turn seven, headed for pit road. Your mission, get there as quick as you can. Okay, watch, watch, watch to his left, left. You'll see the lights right coming to the corner, right there. See the lights? They're red already. And that's, that's the biggest thing right there, that you can't come down pit lane 
if those lights are red. Or the, and, and the problem is it's so close. I mean, like you say, once you're there, you're already committed. But unfortunately, NASCAR was right on that one, and that hurts. That hurts having to go to the back. But there's no way in the world that Kirk could have no. gone back on the racetrack. That's what I'm saying. You're that already committed, so that they need to change that around for next time. Yeah, but the stories we try to follow up down below, we uh, offered an invitation to Kurt Busch to talk about his day. Uh, he politely declined that inv invitation. Disappointing day for Kurt.